right. Thank you for that call, Kitty. Let's move on now to Jack, who has a 2015 Ford Lariat that he just bought. So go ahead, Jack, and uh, tell Larry about your new truck. Larry, yeah, thanks for taking my call. I just purchased the 2015 Ford Lariat. It had 17,000 miles on it. I bought it from my niece. Her dad passed away and hardly ever drove it. Oh, my goodness. What engine, other- what engine did you get in it? It's the V8. All right. 5.0 motor. Wow. You're doing good. Yeah. And it's, well, I drove it from Ohio down here. I, cha- I put new tires on it. I bought it for my daughter, and I put new tires. I drove it from Ohio down here. I just got here yesterday. It, it drives perfect. My question is, since it's been sitting around, they drive it a little bit. The oil has been changed. Should I change the transmission fluid or the antifreeze or anything I should do to it before I give it to my daughter? Yeah, I would go ahead and service the transmission on it. Uh, that's a definite. Um uh, and if it was up to me, Jack, I, I, I don't know if you how often you've listened to the program, but I am a big proponent of AMSOIL. Uh, you know, there, there's nothing better than a polyalpha olfin with ex- ester synthetic oil in the world, I mean, as far as protecting things. And, and, and let me just tell you a little short story here real quick. I've got a 15 uh, King Ranch, and I'm literally replacing every worn part on the vehicle. Uh, it's got about 150,000 mile on it. And the reason for it being is, in my opinion, that was probably one of the best uh, years for that truck. Uh, it's still got the six-speed transmission in it before they went to the 10-speed, which uh, there's been uh, quite a few problems with them. It doesn't have a start-stop system, which I do not want one of those anyway. I'd have to bypass it if I had one. It's just all all in all just a very good year for that truck. Uh, and being a 5.0 motor, if you've got the 5.0 or if you've got the 35 Echo Boost, either one's going to give you just amazing service out of them, especially if you use a good synthetic oil. But brake fluid, where it's been sitting for a long time, and that system uh, basically inoperative can ab- absorb moisture right out of the air. Uh, cooling system, I-, I don't think you have to overthink it, but I would do a drain and fill at seven years old, you know. So and and you know, depending on where it's been and setting like that. You know, see, you can get rust on uh, ring and pinions by sitting, because see, the whole thing is not uh, submerged in in gear lube, so rust can develop on that stuff. So you know, it really wouldn't hurt to give it a good service from bumper to bumper. Get all the fluids changed in it, and you know, engine wise, um, on that one, regardless of what Ford recommends with it, I would probably go with at least a uh, Amsoil Signature Series 5W30 on that engine oil in that vehicle. Don't don't use 20 weights in that motor. I mean, that's basically a race car engine. Uh, you know, that's a Coyote 5.0 motor, and those are just incredible engines. So you want to make sure you run a, a, a good enough viscosity oil in it to keep the parts separated and keep it around a long period of time. But, uh, yeah, bumper to bumper, I'd Amsoil it all the way through. You got a brand new truck, and that's amazing. You know, no, no more miles on it than that. Uh, good luck, and that's about all I can, that's, that's about all the, all I can really uh, advise you with, Jack. Uh, you're basically a brand new 2015 truck. Uh, good luck with it, and let us know. Give us a holler when you need another question answered.